pure, with natural inclination. It's based upon the environment and society that changes them. So that's why, brother, if you know, just I will give you a question to think of me, yeah? Okay. If you know, if you know that the verse is really difficult for you to accept, you should come to the conclusion that a most just God, powerful God, will not prescribe this law to his believers. I'm just going to come back because there's a lot there. But okay, first of all, we don't believe that babies have sin. We believe that babies are born with original sin, which is the idea that their nature is somehow corrupt. In other words, they are capable of doing evil. Not that they are born into sin. Yes, we agree. Yes, we agree. What now? What I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to get at here is this: in our religion, we have a concept called theodicy, and what that is is we look at why God could have reasons for doing things, right? And this helps us answer the question of natural evil. Why did God let there be cancer in the world? Yeah, things like that. Now, when we apply it to the Old Testament and things, we look at okay, what is the reason God had for allowing the Amalekites to be wiped out? Well, we ignored it. There are many different reasons. First of all, it was prophesied, yeah, because of what they did in the past. That's not reason. Though, okay, okay, but they continued to do it. This is the point. The Amalekites were consistently at war with the Israelites, and it was a constant. Every single Amalekite was consistent. Every single Amalekite that lived at that time was consistent with that. Even the women and children. Yeah, they were like ISIS. Even the children. They were like ISIS. Can I can I can I add something? Can I add something? In the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. They were like ISIS. No ISIS. Where you from? Indian. Oh, why are you why are being rude now? In the Old Testament. No need. We're calling you ISIS, bro. No, I don't say you're ISIS. I said Amalekites were like ISIS. Brother, brother, I'm gonna ask something. In the Old Testament, there's a prophecy. There's a prophecy that Jesus will not be killed. He will not be tortured, he will be ascended in the Old Testament. They mentioned this prophecy. So, as he's speaking, like just killing a baby is wrong. So why did an innocent man, Jesus, get killed or other people's sins? Is that just? Let me explain. But that that's, that's what Allah, uh, but, but Allah also wants to sacrifice for... Uh, you have problems because... Yeah. Yeah. No justice. Like, Can I just like, say? Uh, if, he, if, he does, if, if he does something wrong, okay, quick. I will kill you, okay? Uh, does, does that make sense? Can I just say, you were a yeah. to speak to you because you. you were very concise and you were very to the point yeah. and I would have much more preferred to speak with you than Shamsi. Are you here next week? Uh, or the week after? The week after we have a discussion, yeah. yeah, yeah the cameras, no problem. Now we yeah. speak about this yeah, yeah. and now we have time to think about the studies that I showed you about Aisha as well, about the fish. Yeah. You know, if it's like more hot in, in certain conditions, even more mature. Think about it, be sincere. That all the, like the two hour discussions you have, all the information that me and Shamsi have given you, think yeah. about it, look at the research and then come to the conclusion if you believe that Aisha was an adult or not. I think you should think about it, yeah? Okay. I speak in two weeks. Right. Another thing which I... I'm, I'm, really, I'm really sorry. Uh, maybe I, I, I was rude or something. Like, but, like when you speak about the Aisha, uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the emotion, wife... Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it gets emotional. Like, All we want is like, truth. Like, yeah, we, 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 hate, we hate Shia because they insult Aisha. Okay? So we believe like most of our religion are heading from Aisha. Okay? So when the prophet, like, as he told you, like, you, if you're a genuine guy, okay? Like at that time, no one rejected that Aisha. Like, there's no one actually said like he's better for He was accepted. In the past, women usually they they, they have hit puberty faster than now. Okay. So uh, like at the night she well, would have a menstruation well, and everything. You know that I disagree on that, yeah, because I mentioned before. Yeah, no, we, we, can, we can talk about this. Yeah, the we can research that. Yeah. Yeah. I will research that. They, they're actually women, nine years old. They they pregnant. They have babies. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. The okay. Women, yeah. So what's the definition between a girl and a woman? A woman, someone who has menstruation. Yeah. Okay? So, okay. She can menstruate at nine. 11, 12, and there's like, in the Bistani in, uh, in your, uh, Mary, she was 12, according to, to the Bible. No, 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 okay. no maybe, maybe you, don't, you don't believe in that. The reason why Muslims say that is because there's uh, another source outside of the Bible that the Catholic Encyclopedia mentions briefly. No, you don't believe in that. The Catholic doesn't even, no, not, none of us believe it. Most, most, most Protestants, uh, you're Catholic, right? No, no, neither Catholics nor Protestants believe it. The Catholics mention it because they know it exists, but they don't believe it, they don't think it's right. Yes, you know, like, why you're against Islam? Like, what, what's, what's the problem with Islam? What do you think Islam is wrong? Like, most people like Islam is a big religion. Okay, it's a beautiful religion. They say like, if you kill one person, like you kill the whole humanity. Okay, if you say like, if you save one person, like you save all the humanity. You give charity to people. Like when we say give charity, it's like don't show off to people. You live in the dark. There, there are good but, but you only you only mention the Aisha. Like, what's wrong with Islam? Because, 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 because that to me. Yeah. You, you remember your friend, he mentioned that when you look at these difficult moral yeah. things, your moral intuition tells you whether or not that was right or wrong, or whether that comes from God or not. Now, it's difficult. It's, objective morality. It's, objective morality. It's difficult for me to look at the Amalekites. It's difficult. I think it's, I think it's solvable, but it's difficult. But when it comes to what Muhammad did, 
disagree with you. I think that's. I don't know how to solve that. I can't think of the Odyssey as to why Muhammad would be too sexy. Can I ask a serious question? Really, really. really. Without, without, uh, forget the camera. You believe that the Bible that was written is 100 percent the word of God? Yes. The Bible that you read. The Old Testament. You need to, yeah. need to understand what Christians the, believe. The Old Testament was written like 1,400 years ago after Moses. It's an anonymous guy who wrote it. And then the uh, the New Testament was written like 300 or 400 uh, years ago. And there's like no. the, 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 yeah, the first uh, there's like a cur like the size of credit card. But the, the New Testament was 300, 400 years ago. No, that's not. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're confused. When, 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 when was the New Testament? Uh, okay, let me explain. So the New Testament is written on papyrus. After Jesus. Yeah, yeah, after Jesus. It's written on papyrus, which is leaves that you intertween and it makes a material you can write on. The problem with papyrus is that it breaks after a few years. Right? Do you know who wrote the Bible? Yes. John, Matthew, Luke. Yes. Okay. Who are they? Why do you who wrote the Soros? Different between Islam and Christianity. Like we have something called the chain of narration. Okay? It's not, yeah. It's not. The chain of narration is like a golden like we have Umar Rajal. Okay? We have like uh, every, everybody's like he's, he's a good memory, he's reliable, he, who is his wife, how many children, where he lives, okay? So if God sent us religion, we know that the people who actually send the Quran, we know every one of them. Okay, it's like hundreds. Everybody says the same thing, then we know the Quran. The Bible doesn't have a chain of narration, okay? Two hundred, three hundred 300 years, it's an anonymous guy, okay? No, so we have a chain of narration. Yeah, I mean, I mean like this guy, John Luke, we don't know who he is, okay? How can you take your religion? And, and there's there's a lot of tradition. I mean, like how the Jews, uh, Judas died. One, one verse said he hung himself, the, the other said he was running headlong and he got his in the. Right. And there, okay. real, real quick then, listen. So, in, you, the way that you approach your scripture as a Muslim is that it is eternal, uncreated on a tablet, yeah? And therefore, it, the whatever is on that tablet is exactly what should be in your Quran today, yes? So, everything has to be perfectly preserved. That is not the Christian position. And it has never been the Christian but, position. But why is there a lot of contradiction in your Bible? How, how can God contradict himself? Who okay. wrote the Bible? Did, oh, sorry, so according to you, who wrote the Quran? I mean, I mean, could, could the word of God be contradicted? I'm, I'm going to get to that. But first of all, you need to understand. Who wrote the Quran according to you? Quran? You, say, you say, ultimately, it comes from Allah. It actually pre-exists, right? Zaid right. bin Sabit, I answered this Yeah, Tabit, Tabit. What happened at the time of the Uthman, and who said Zaid bin Sabit, and who has been deputed to compile the Quran. Now, yeah. Zaid bin Sabit, himself was a memorizer of the Quran. Yeah. And Abu Bakr Siddiq, and who gave them a nusha, which is the compiler. Yeah. And based that nusha, also he was asking, and everything is in Wikipedia, I'm not making anything else, so you can just check. Oh, I agree, I know this. It's Zed true, yeah, yeah. Sabit, who asking two half of the Quran, they were uh, coming to him, they were reciting, he was reciting so he himself, himself, okay. he himself okay. let me finish it, okay. he himself memorized, he was also, so four swords, one, one half of the Quran, second half of the Quran, seven half, Zed bin half is, himself half is the Quran, Abu Bakr Siddiq scripture, four swords he was writing. So where is the Quran? Where is the Quran of 1827? When he's been compiled, I answer this question. I answer this question. So what is the Quran? We don't burn manuscripts. He burned the ones that were corrupted. Because in the Quran, there is Nasr Mansukh, a learned you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were very sincere. 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 They were
thousand things others to do. So whenever I was presented in front of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, I was writing. So that only 11 contains surah which I have been as an Abdullah bin Masood Razi Allah Ta'ala. Rest there might be another person who comes sit with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He would have another surah. He would write it which I, Abdullah bin Masood, didn't write it. So that's how when the compilation happened, I've been asked, bring your 11 surah. Right, right. He's been asked. So that's how it's been compiled. Yeah, yeah. So that is but what I'm saying is that Abdullah Abdullah Ibn Masood disagreed with Uthman on what should be included in the final com uh, compromised Uthmanic script. You disagreed with him. Yeah, where is that? But, 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 let, is that? No, let me explain. Uh, yeah, and then the Uthmanic Quran that was produced in the end because they got rid of the old ones and they kept yeah, the Qurayshi script. There's only yeah. one Quran. All around the world, there's only one Quran. No, there's many. Which is the Kufi. Do you know Hafsis from Kufa? Yeah. Hafsis is not from Shia. That's the Shia. That's the Shia. Is it the Shia? The same Quran as well. Everyone is the same one Quran. But Bible? Bible, like people, like Catholics have, uh, have uh, eight, uh, Catholics have eighty-eight books. Yeah, but Protestants have seventy-seven, and the others like. Yeah, but see, see, here's the problem that you're going to have. Mormons, okay. You know why there's so many books? Though, let, like, let, let, let me conclude. Let me conclude. So the, like, uh, if, if the Bible was the true religion, it wouldn't have like so many books. It wouldn't have like so many contradictions. Like, I'm going to tell you like why I why do I believe. I'm going to conclude. Okay. okay. Like, why, do why do I believe? Like same Islam is, same is the same. true religion and. Christianity is wrong. Logically, for my rationality, I think that God, God is just. God wouldn't kill his son, an innocent son, he but chose to, uh, by the way. other sins. That, that doesn't make sense. Why would he kill his son? And, like, he killed yeah, the devil itself. No, it, it, that's like, and all Christians believe that like, as long as I love Jesus, I'm gonna go to paradise. Like, I asked a Christian once, like, I told him, like, if a Christian guy, he rapes a little girl, then he killed her, and he's, he loves Jesus, and she's a Hindu. Who's gonna go to heaven? She's gonna, he said he's gonna go to heaven. The man that rapes a little girl who claims to be a Christian yes, yes, is not yes. a Christian. I, I mean, I mean, because if you were a Christian, you would follow Christ. Yeah, he followed Christ. And he chose not to. He followed Christ. He, said, he raped a girl. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all Christians rape no, no, no. He, he said, I follow Christ. Okay? Huh? He said, I follow Christ, but he raped a girl. <laughs> That's not like saying, I follow Muhammad, but I eat pork. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, let, me tell, let me tell you why. Because Jesus has taken all of your sins away. <laughs> Okay, you need to explain all this. All you believe you're sinless, right? Like we have been, our sin has been atoned Jesus for. We, for still, we still sin, but our sin has lost its sting. We are no longer bound to ultimate death from our sin, because our sin has been atoned for. By the willing and voluntary death of Jesus on the cross. Who knew his death was coming, who chose to embrace it. Did Jesus pay for your sin or he did not? He did pay for us. He did not pay for half of it or all of it? All of it. All of it. Yeah. So Jesus paid all of your sins? Yes. The same guy that took all away his sins, he raped a girl. Okay? But did he accept Christ? My argument would be no, he didn't. Why is he not accepting Christ? Because he's raping girls. That's not all Christians. Hitler, Hitler has the flags of uh, the cross. Hitler, he, he's a real Christian, okay? So, no, no, first of all, the person who judges who is a real Christian ultimately is God himself, yes? If a man, you can know them by their fruits though, and if they're raping kids, they're not a Christian. In the same way that a Muslim who eats pork is not a Muslim. I mean, I mean, the, the concept, okay? It's the salvation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Christian believe like they can do whatever they want. Yeah. What I was trying to say, what he's saying, no, let me explain that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let me explain that. What he's trying to say, yeah, How will they explain this? No, no, let, let me find out. Hold on a second. Let's, he, let me, uh, he's, there is a priest. He killed so many people, the children in Canada. You see that the, uh, the, yeah. the body in Pinar. Yeah. He's a priest yeah. and he is advocating. According to him, if you ask him, he said that I want, I want both of them. The reason is because okay. I mean, salvation is taken off all my sins. Listen, 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 listen. We, I can find you Muslims who have been imams who do evil things. No, there is no salvation concept. You are, of course there is a salvation concept. If, if an imam does evil things, he's yeah. still a Muslim. So the, what the Quran says, that's what I Quran says, Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu wa amilu salihat. Oh believers or those who are doing the good deeds. Allah says that hand to hand. Like right, a, right, together. Right, right. So you, you have to do good deeds. You do have to do good deeds in order to enter the paradise. So, so if an imam did bad things, he is a Muslim. No, I mean, he is not doing the good deeds. He must so he's have not a Muslim. Faith. He has a faith, but he is not doing the good deeds. If, if he's killing kids, is he a Muslim? Yeah, no, he's not a Muslim. He's a Muslim. He is a Muslim, but he did a good. Yeah. He didn't perform the think, second part. I, I of think the good Muslims, deeds. Muslims follow Jesus better than the Christians. Do you know that? Okay. I think you, first of all, first of all, first of all, like uh, the woman. Uh,
in the church, she should cover her head. If she talks or she prays, her head should be shaved. Okay? That's first. Like, Islam does that. Jesus, but uh, in Islam, women are not allowed in the mosque. Jesus, pray, 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 pray to in the, the Father. Women are not allowed in the mosque. Did, did Jesus pray? Yeah. Just, Let me show you. Did Jesus pray to the Father in the garden? Yeah. Yeah? Because I he, 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 he prayed the same way as the Muslims. He put his head on the ground. Even the Buddhists put right? their head on the ground. He did. He did. Even the Hindus Christians, put their head on the ground. No, no, listen. Christians said that, oh, that, that, that thing. demonstrate how to pray. Actually, the Bible, he said he stayed, he stayed away. He went alone. Yeah. But where are the men? To the Father. How can a God pray the men not serve the women? We don't think Jesus and the Father are the same thing. You will, have, you will not have an ask. It's a mystery, okay? There is a mystery. We're very clear about what we described. You said Jesus is the Father. He's the Father. No, we don't say that. We specifically do not say that. That's heresy in our, in our religion. So, so, Jesus is not the Father so at you, all, okay. in any shape or form. So who, who's God? Who is God? We say that there are three persons, the okay. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, yeah. co-equal, who are inseparable. You cannot separate them. They all act in the same divine essence. Okay. There is one divine essence. Bro, Jesus, you're not listening. The creator, the redeemer, Listen the to him. Okay. You're not listening. Don't you see the contradiction you just said? There is no contradiction. Just said. You just said they're uh, inseparable. Like they're yeah, separate. separate. Okay? Yeah. So Jesus is actually separate, separate uh, it's not separate to the Father, right? He's himself, right? Right? Listen, right? Correct? there is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I know, I know, I know. It's no, no. inseparable. No, okay, right. That's so what, when the, Jesus prayed to the Father, was he praying to himself? Who is Jesus according to Christians? No, okay, because you don't understand this as well. We don't, we don't say that, that, that God literally changed his nature and became a man. I mean, we don't I mean, say that. I mean, That's did, anathema in our church. Did Jesus pray that early? He put his head on the floor? Jesus was... Did he? Did he? Yes, in Matthew. Okay. I'm not going to okay. Muslim, But in John, he actually Muslim, stood up and Muslims prayed on the Jews. Muslims do that. Christians don't do that. Okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, wait. But, but in John 1, Jesus prayed facing Jerusalem looking up. That's what Jews do. Like, it doesn't matter if you prayed like a Muslim on one occasion. You prayed like a Jew. Let me tell you why it doesn't make sense to me. Okay? Because first of all, a God cannot pray to himself. Okay? You will not okay, let me explain. Can God, who is spirit, you agree God is spirit? Okay, okay. Is he immaterial? Is he, uh, well, I guess for you. Is it more Alright, we should maybe end this then. We cannot, we cannot define for. God, okay? So God to us, he's the only one. He, he doesn't have... Where, where it is? Where, where, where? He doesn't have a son, he doesn't have a mother, he's he's auntie, his word. he doesn't have a room. Where is he one? Cousins. Is Allah his word? Yeah, yeah. Show us in the Quran. Show us in the Quran. Jesus, when he was on the cross, he said, Ilahi, Ilahi. Yeah, he's quoting from Old Scripture. Yeah. That's, that's Aramaic, Aramaic. He said, Ilahi. First of all, God, for us, doesn't have sons, daughters, wife, aunties, roommates, classmates. You know, we don't believe that Jesus is a physical, for us, God is only one, okay? He doesn't have son. In the Bible, Jesus is not the only son. David was the son. Adam was the son. Yeah, the son of God. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Jesus is not the literal son of God. Okay? When, 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 when they say the son of God, in the Arabic, it means the righteous person. Okay? So Jesus doesn't have the DNA or genetics of the Father. What is the indefinite article? God cannot pray for the What is the indefinite article? When he was on the cross, he said, why God, why God, why, God, why have you forsaken me? Okay? So he's praying for me. That doesn't make sense. Another thing. Doesn't matter. I'm going to conclude, okay? I'm going to conclude. Right. Right. Well, let's leave it after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll just leave it after. Okay. I just want to tell you this verse in the Bible okay. and just answer me, okay? Sure.